Hi guys, Laserbolt here, and today we're going to be building a diving helmet. Here, check it out. I went to a neat little website called Lost Wax and downloaded the pattern for this and printed it out. You guys got a bunch of neat stuff there, you should check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for you. We're going to make the helmet out of these foam rubber exercise mats that I got real cheap on Amazon. And I got six of them for $17, so that's a pretty good deal. And here's all the standard things we're going to need, uh, scissors, glue, tape, paint, utility knife, all, all that good stuff. First, let's lay out this pattern, lining up all the marks, and uh, get it all taped up. Next, using a ballpoint pen, let's go ahead and add these pattern pieces to the EVA foam. Don't forget all the little alignment marks and such. And we're going to have to flip some of these pieces over to mirror them uh, so we have both sides of the helmet. Time to break out that utility knife and start cutting. Now give the pieces a little bit of a curve by shaping them over your knee. Time to break out that contact cement. Now brush on a thin layer of glue to each surface that you'd like to stick together and set it aside to dry. When they're dry and you press the seams together, you'll have an incredibly strong bond. Now we can start assembling the helmet by lining up all of our little guide markers. And looky there, she's already coming together. Time to keep going. Neat. Now let's add some more details like a long strip to help cover up some of these seams and while we're at it we'll go ahead and make a bunch of little nuts and bolts to start adding uh, some detail to the whole thing. Like that. Well look at that. This is turning out pretty neat already. Let's take it outside and give it a couple coats of paint coats of this black primer should do the job. Right on! Now let's go ahead and apply some of this Liquitex bronze metallic paint and uh, that should really bring it together. Using your finger apply a very thin coat of paint and uh, just kind of scrub it around on there and try to give it a neat rough texture. Okay, we are just about done here. The final step is to take some of this metallic luster gold rush wax, as they call it, and uh, just touch it up and add some highlights here and there to this thing. Well, there you go, she's all done. I hope you enjoyed this nifty little project as much as I did. 
remember, a very wise man once said, there's always a bigger fish. Alright, thanks guys, we'll see you next time.